In this video, you're gonna learn exactly how to do forward crossovers. I'm Matt Schwartz, the co-founder of the Hockey Players Club in Quest Hockey, and today I'm gonna to show you my tips for mastering forward crossovers. Forward crossovers are an essential part of becoming a good hockey player. Crossovers allow players to weave, change direction, and move laterally with and without the puck, making them more elusive and harder to defend. Because they're so important, all hockey players, whether novice or pro, should practice their forward crossovers regularly. But practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So let's dig into the details so you know exactly what to work on. The first tip to mastering your forward crossovers is knowing your edges. When doing forward crossovers, one skate is on the outside edge and the other skate is on the inside edge. It's important that your skates aren't on the flat part of the blade. One thing that we'll work on with our players is having them angle their skates in one direction and then the other direction to get the feel of being on one outside edge and one inside edge of a different skate. A crossover is the combination of your outside foot inside edge push and your inside skate outside edge flick. Crossovers require you to be strong on both your outside edges and inside edges. Your inside skate will need to be able to glide on the outside edge and your outside skate will have to be able to glide on the inside edge. The same respect, you'll have to be able to push off of your outside edge and push off of your inside edge. Another tip for mastering your forward crossovers, make sure that you bend your knees and you keep your feet spread apart. There's a relationship between the amount of knee bend and the length of your crossover. The more you stand straight up and do a crossover, there's a shorter distance between my feet, but when I bend my knees and I cross, now there's a deeper, bigger distance between my feet so I get more power out of my crossovers when I bend my knee. You'll notice that if I were doing this in motion, my lifted crossed over leg, my knee is bent while this leg is straight and I'll flick with my toe. So that that lifting foot needs to be deep on the knee bend while the outside foot goes from bent to extended. The next tip for mastering your forward crossovers is to control your upper body and try to have your chest, your eyes, and your stick facing the center of the circle that you're going around or the curved pattern that you're going around. Your body follows where your stick and eyes point. So if you're gliding on the ice, and you look and point your stick in a certain direction, your body will naturally follow that way. So it's good to use that to your advantage when doing crossovers to keep your stick in your eyes to the center of the ice. Otherwise, you're fighting your body by turning your upper body towards the inside of the curve pattern that you're going along. You're allowing your entire body to work together. Both your lower half and your upper half are in unison if I want to go in this direction, I want my upper body facing that way. If my upper body is facing this way or outside and I want to go this direction, now I'm fighting myself. The other thing to remember is to keep your shoulders level. We don't want to dip our inside shoulder while we're doing crossovers, which will put too much pressure on your, on your inside skates, outside edge, and that oftentimes you'll lose an edge. Uh, so you want to try to keep your your shoulders level during that twist. Some skating coaches even suggest that you want your inside shoulder up a little bit. But for us, we like level shoulders, and I'd be okay with a slight, slight dip inside, but let's avoid this extreme lean uh, with our shoulders when we're doing our crossovers. The last tip to mastering your forward crossovers and really creating speed with your crossovers is rhythm. You want to move your feet with a consistent rhythm and do your best to avoid stopping your feet when you feel that little bit of discomfort like you're going to lose an edge. You want to power through that discomfort, continue moving your feet with crossovers and a nice rhythm to get the most power and speed down the ice. Thanks for checking out our video, guys. 
We hope these tips help you master your forward crossovers. Also be sure to check out our video with our favorite drills to work on your forward crossovers. We think that'll be very helpful for you. Don't forget to like us on social media and download the HPC app. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, I'm coming with you. Coming with you.